Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sandra and today I want to talk to you about my universal credit experience um, from my point of view. As you may know, I have eye problems in both my eyes and from September 25th, 2019, I haven't been back to work. Officially, I am fully under, unemployed now under medical reasons. So I'm not looking for work at this present time because my doctor has given me fit notes, otherwise known as sick notes, to say why I can't work or look for work. Okay, so where did this start? Back in September 2019, I was at work, and then the following day, I went to work and could hardly read the screens. So the following day after that, I went sick, thinking I could just you know, fast it off. But five days later, when I went back to work, I couldn't read the screens. And a manager of mine was very concerned about my welfare and um, got someone to drop me home and advised me strongly to go to the doctors. The doctors wasn't available for immediate appointment. So what I done, I phoned um, Specsavers and went there the next day. And the next day when I went there, she said to me, go to the emergency eye hospital in Manchester straight away. So I did. When I went to the Manchester eye hospital, they said, you, you have got serious retina detachment and will need surgery on both eyes. So from then onward, which was about mid-October now, I went officially sick long term and made a claim to housing benefit under Universal Credit to have my rent paid because on sick pay, I wouldn't be have enough to support myself. So I went to the job centre with my documents of my tenancy agreement, with my passport, which my recent pay slips, and my fit note to say why I couldn't look for work or why I was sick and made my claim. I asked for an advancement of £600 um, because I was told that the benefit takes about four weeks, five weeks to come through, which I did, and got my advance payment straight away and was told £50 will be taken off my payment each month, which was the fourth of each month. So... From 8th of November, which was my day of operation, um, I've been giving them up-to-date information of why I can't go back to work and why I'm still sick. The DWP has interviewed me July of this year, or sorry, July, July of last year, 2020, to reassess me of my capability. My rent is £105 a week, which they times by 52 weeks, and they divide it by 12, which comes to £455 a month. So when I get my payment on the 4th of the month, I pay my landlord £455 and 55 pounds and what I got, got left after deductions of 
my advance payment, etc., leaves me what to live on. Since the 29th of May 2020, I've been unemployed officially because my employers um, let me go based on my medical situation. The occupational health at my workplace says you are too sick to work and we have to let you go. So right now, I am 100% on universal credit, but also 100% unfit to work. So my full universal credit payment right now is £864 minus deductions, which leaves me with about £800. Okay, so I said from that, I pay my landlord £455. Let me see if I can find my receipt they send me. One moment. found it. No, I haven't. That was something else. We'll get there. Yeah, I found it. Or hopefully, anyway. Bear with me. Here it is, guys. When they, when Universal Credit pays you on the same day each month, they send you a receipt of how much you'll get. I use this to read because my eyesight is too poor to read normal. So I'll turn it round. You can see it says after all my deductions, I'm taking home. 803 pounds that was my last payment so from that i pay my landlord 455 pounds for my rent because my rent per week is 105 pounds so okay so that's my experience from being working with an employer but under sick pay for seven months, which is about 28 weeks. 28 weeks is the maximum you can receive sick pay for. From that, after that payment of my last sick pay, which lasted seven months, the Universal Credit, they contact HMRC and ask um, HMRC, did I receive any wages? Since it's become no since the end of May, I've received £864 minus any deductions each month and every month. And that's where I'm at now. It's been a simple process and I didn't want to be unemployed or sick, but that's the way things are. Moving forward, the DWP has interviewed me over the phone about giving me a higher assessment rate, um, which is, I think, is about £300 more per month than what I'm getting now. So if I was to get that, my receipt would say £1,100 approximately because I haven't got it before and I'm just guessing 
on how much it will be. But as the COVID-19 lockdown um, is happening, they said, I've got to wait until things settle, which they will backdate my claim from when I originally became sick and made a claim for sick pay. That's where I'm at, guys. Um, I also um, have my housing um, costs paid for me, where I live in this double room in shared accommodation. So the kitchen is shared, the bathroom is shared, and the living room lounge is shared, as well as the back garden, etc., and the washing machine and things like that. I do want to move on because um, where I live has got stairs and my mobility issues doesn't allow me to um, um, deal with it properly because I can't walk far and both my knees has hardly got any cartilage so it's quite painful when I walk. I'm still bidding for properties that are like bungalows or low ground flats, but nothing has come up yet. So for the time being, I'm content where I am, but still looking for appropriate property. So guys, Universal Credit is a half, sorry, Universal Credit is a half glass full experience for me. I'm taking this time to recuperate and to find my purpose. As I can hardly read, and I have to use this, and as I can hardly walk, I can't look for the normal job range. So right now, Universal Credit is a long-term plan for me. I hope you are all well, guys. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel on the bottom right of this video. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.